What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And the one thing I like about Corey Holcomb, Pastor Corey, he makes an incentive on his podcast every week to come after everybody in the foolishness. To come after everybody in the foolishness. And we have a lot of foolish people every time. One of them being, in my honest opinion, Tasha K. Now, we know that Tasha K got into this little boxy match. We won't show it because of YouTube's sensitivity towards uh, such topics. And there was a problem with the We in the Miami podcast people. She was there visiting them and then something happened and there was a guy that she was just you know beating up on the ground and i'm thinking to myself like oh she looks like she's really mad and this is this is the machine to be messed with right until corey holcomb came out and said this hey but look i got to talk about this too man listen man these people out here perpetrating y'all man it's people out here faking fights for likes <laughs> faking fights for likes. People are out here acting like they getting jumped on. I'm talking about your little YouTube guys or the guys that got kicked off YouTube or whatever. They acting like they got beat up to get your attention. Right. Or that they beat somebody up. It was this one girl. I ain't gonna lie. I hate to say a name because I don't want don't, no drama. Then don't. They'll probably know if, it's, oh. if it was viewed a lot, they'll know who it was. Don't say it because that's probably what she wants is attention. Her name Tasha. Oh, Lord. She faked a fight. This is what they doing to get y'all attention now. <laughs> they faked a fight. Listen, let me tell you something, man. If you are willing to fake like you got jumped on, you a deceptor of the people. For likes? No, dog. I can't respect that. If somebody will do that, man, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, those are criminals. Mm-hmm. They are deceiving the people in a way where I feel like the people are really being misled. Because some people know you by being on the internet and they got love for you. Right. Then you will fake a fight just so they could watch what's that. Well, what happened with so and so? Right. I'm like, man, what All is concerned. That, man? Right. That's Boy Cried Wolf Watch. And well, when something really what finally is it called goes, D? The, the boy that cried wolf. So when it really does happen, because she, you know, when you when you behave like that, it's bound to happen for right. real, for real. Right, right. And then nobody's gonna believe you. So let me let me talk about this because I never looked at it this way. Again, you know, Tasha, if this is true, which I believe that Corey, he he seems like he's smarter than me in, in some of these things, right? If this is true, Tasha, why would you want to bring? more attention to yourself when you already have destroyed your life as it is if i were you with all of the problems that you got going on i would go and have several seats i would just go to the furniture store and buy sofa seats if i were you i would collect them i would literally go and go buy church pews i would buy i will buy lawn chairs and i would just take turns sitting my ass down someplace if i was you I would just come on and do my content and have my little phony glasses of, 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 of communion wine. I don't know, whatever you drink. Um, I would just pour some Kool-Aid in it because you don't need to be having a liquor because, you know, I, I would just try to get me a wine sponsorship to help me pay, pay off that Cardi B, you know, payment and that nonsense that you got going on. I would really not be saying a goddamn thing if I was you. Seriously, it would be just like that. I would just shut up saying nothing at all but no you're out here faking the funk trying to draw attention to yourself for whatever reason i don't know why and it's not like whenever you get invited to an interview somebody wants to know about you there's really nothing that anybody wants to know i'll be i'll be also honest even me we're people who report on stuff people don't care about people like us not so much well, maybe me, because I'm a legend, but, you know, they don't really care about you. Okay, I'll say that. Unless you're talking about Cardi B, which you shouldn't be, it's a court order. 
But no, you 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 find a way to keep yourself in the news when really you you really need to be having your ass sitting somewhere down somewhere. If I was you, I would just be sitting down. And it's unfortunate because I'm thinking about what all of this. Where's your husband? You know, and you know, Tasha K has some. Uh, can I say? animosity towards african-american men and i've noticed women from the black community who have a lot to say about african-american uh african-american men then what they'll do is they'll marry interculturally so somebody from ghana somebody from nigeria uh in the black diaspora uh that is representative and that's great uh but i but i also noticed that they go over there and they say how much better these guys are and but the problem is they're not better than the women in the guys community you mean to tell me that Tasha K's husband could not have found a better woman in this community in the way she acts? So you basically embarrass this guy. You make him look so silly. He cannot control you. You're completely uncontrollable. Not to say that you need to be controlled, but the way that you act as a woman, you 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 would think that a, a man would be able to like, look, all right, can you calm down? Let's 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 take control of the situation as your husband, you know. We need to get you somewhere and have several seats. What I have found is you don't do that at all. You are completely embarrassing this man. Not only this man, but yourself. So why did he leave his culture to come out and deal with what you have to offer? And I am so happy every time I see what Tasha K is doing that, you know, she didn't ruin a black man's life from the black American community and and not to say that I don't feel sorry for that guy because I do but you know what I, 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 I'm just so happy that the brothers didn't have to go through this in our community now if he decided he wanted to do it that's fine but the fact that you're faking this for whatever reason it is I can't make light of it but what you need to do is stop faking like you ain't got this money and you need to be at home somewhere in a basement drinking coffee, taking notos, getting Cardi B's money together. How about you go record some content, get some exclusive interviews so you can break this woman off her money and stop acting a goddamn fool. Stop embarrassing yourself. You are in your 40s. Like, do you understand what that means, honey? You are 40, middle aged as a woman. And you're 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 almost equivalent. To some of the problems that, you know, like somebody like Sukiana should be having. Sexy Red. Somebody that's young and experienced. You would expect that from a person of that magnitude. Not nobody who's 45. 46. Late 30s. I don't even know how old you are. But we can expect that from you. Which is sad. And you have a lot to say about these black men out here in the community. They're not taking care of women. Who? Let's, re, let's, let's, let's reverse this. Who can take care of somebody who acts like that? That's what I want to know. Who can? Who shall be able to stand? Like the old gospel song. Jesus getting us ready for that great day. Who can stand somebody who acts like you? That is what we are literally dealing with. And... You know, every month you're, you're getting into it with somebody yelling at Joe Budden, yelling at whatever, uncontrollably yelling Tony the Closer. It's always something. If it's not Cardi B, it's somebody in the black church community. It's a woman. It's 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 just hilarious. Uh, why do you, is Beyonce's mom? Why do you seem to be so problematic all the time? Everywhere you go, you 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 can't even just not have problems on the internet. At least academics, for the most part, has problems on the internet. Very rarely will he go outside and have issues. And I'm trying to think about somebody who's really problematic. At least his issues are online. But no, Tasha K, you're permeating from online to real life. And a complete train wreck, might I add. And this is the same person that will get up there talk about what black men ain't doing while you're out there acting like a woman that don't deserve nobody to take care of her or take her serious 
but will sit back and talk about what a black man not doing and what he not doing for the community for women like you. The nerve. The unmitigated gall. And when you see it, guys, it is completely insane. It is uncontrollably funny how some of these ladies will go out here, get attention, do anything for attention, admit they have cheated on their husband before, come after other people for cheating on their wives and husbands like Derek Jackson, and then try to act like ain't nothing wrong with them. It is hypocrisy to see something else. So, guys, what do you think it's your boy, Shake Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Richard Fire, you just heard the bill. We're out.